This is an act of anger, protest, recognition and remembrance. I am making a mark for each of the deaths relating to COVID as reported by the offices of national statistics for England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. There are two elements to the artwork, the physical piece with the marks made on the paper and also the performance. That's the performance of me in the space making the work. So the piece is called Toll. Conceptually, the piece is a very simple piece. It's single marks for every single death for the first year of COVID-related deaths. I wanted to show what the actual numbers look like and it, for it to be an unavoidable fact. The other part of that is showing how long it takes to mark 100,000 marks. It, it's a visualisation that really makes you understand what's actually happened. Each of the marks is a single person's death. And as I'm doing this project, it's been really important to remember that. That is an, the act of remembrance is very important in, in the way that I've gone about constructing this. So the recognition part is me recognising each one of those deaths and not just glossing over and going, oh, well, I've lost track of the, the numbers. Understanding what 135,000 deaths looks like and what that actually takes to, to recognise each one of those individually. I do it in silence, you know. The, the performance of this is very much the work and recording of that performance is just as important as the, as the paper. I try and be as considered as possible and when I make a mark or merge two marks together or make a slight mistake that it's not as good as it could be, I actually feel quite a lot of guilt because that's actually somebody. That is somebody's family member. That's somebody's um, friend, and it's somebody's life that's ended. Now, I actually try not to be too meditative about it, because being meditative is that you're sort of separating yourself from it, but I can't afford to separate myself from it because of what it's representing. As I get more into the swing, or I have a, a sense of guilt that I kind of have to remind myself what it is I'm doing and, 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 a, and a big part of that is, you know, the way I'm doing it in silence and, and, and on my own. I'm now currently over halfway in the dates. I am only just about halfway numerically um, and the second wave is for where I am. That is just starting to ramp up in the figures and I have as many marks to make as I've already made and that is a really daunting task because I've it it's taken a lot more out of me physically and emotionally than I thought it it would have done and I've got just as many still to go and I'm actually quite scared of that what that toll will take on on me as well standing where I am right now in the project knowing that I'm basically into November which sounds very close to sort of the end of the year. We've we basically doubled how many people had died um, in, in less than six months. What this work is trying to do and, and, and recognising myself is that we stopped caring so much about all these numbers and it started to, to slip by. And I feel like the government is getting an easier ride because we've all stopped caring and that's really what this is about. The impetus for this was, was anger, and that's actually what's fed it, and it's anger at um, Westminster, at central government. I felt that they haven't been decisive, they haven't made strong decisions, there has been a lot of waste. That has resulted in over 100,000 deaths. This is a protest piece. This is my version of holding up a placard and standing out in the street. This is my concerted, silent protest and art can have many roles in society and one of those is definitely protest and this is this is my protest when you think about the statistics it gets abstracted away but i'm i'm doing this to make it physical and make it so that it can't be avoided it's such a physical artifact over 130,000 single marks that you have to realize that this is something to get angry about 130,000 stories that have all stopped. 